Hello everyone. Uh, I'm doing this video, this is going to be the first part of a series I'm going to do about the rebuild of my performance of my physique, which is as you can see pretty lean down since the three months of lockdown and my return in the gym and my thought and experience with it. So it can benefit you and also can help you see how you can go back and with the groove and uh, uh, get back all the mobility, the strength, the explosiveness and also the drive of the gym because those are the three main points you need to have. So I will show you the stats that I had before lockdown and right now. Um, the first thing that you are going to see is obviously I lost uh, pretty much some size everywhere but the size that I've lost the most even uh, on the uh, more visual side is going to be the chest. And this is the area that I've been um, losing the most size because the back actually it isn't about the chest, it's about the back since your uh, chest measurement is going to also hit you the lats and the trap thickness so yeah without deadlift without squats and heaviness uh, I'm not the kind of guy that can uh, maintain a lot of thickness in the upper body since I have pretty slim uh, morphology I have a really thin body type my bones aren't that big uh, at the beginning and uh, my ribcage is really really tiny so yeah Another thing is going to be the shoulder width, since uh, I wasn't able to really do much lateral uh, delt work, uh, except for maybe the band, Facebook band, uh, the stand, obviously, the push ups, and also some kind of lateral raises I'm going to show you in, in the next video. Uh, there isn't much uh, work for them, so yeah. And of course, there is over diet. I wasn't moving much, so I had less appetite. Thus, I was eating less, so I lost about uh, 10 pounds. I already gained back 2 pounds. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm doing this video at the end of my first rebuild week, so I can review everything. Okay, this isn't a video that I'm making and then showing you everything. So, yeah, we'll have a whole compilation of my week and my point of view with it. So, first thing first, my schedule with the gym wasn't letting me work out more than three times per week, so uh, two days in a row, so I basically uh, will show you the template I did uh, for this week, just here, and uh, yeah, it is how it is, for the whole month of June, I will need, I will be needed to be really uh, supple and mobile with the uh, schedule, I won't be able to do as I want, which is normally see full body and uh, about two and a half, two hour and a half to three hour session, even more sometimes. So yeah. Uh, first thing first, uh, as you will see at the at the screen, I ease back really easily into the block pool. I did it with snatch lift, but it was in the smith machine. Snatch lift, but it was in the smith machine because no other piece of equipment was available. No blocks, no barbell, no rack, nothing. So yeah. And when you're going. Uh, back into training, I think the movements that are putting a lot of stress and stretch on the muscle aren't really the most uh, required movement. You shouldn't be uh, doing them immediately since they are going to be also the ones that stress the muscle joint, but also the fascia, which are the area of your body that will need the most time to recover. So yeah, uh, except if you're doing really low volume or are really sure about yourself uh, about it, don't do it. So yeah, I was doing some blood pool and the first the first thing that appeared to me was that because of the time that was to be stricken, I wasn't going to be able to do a lot of sets, a lot of volume. So I was going to exchange this volume with intensity. So I immediately got up to three plate to uh, go into one as many reps as possible set. Problem is that the, uh, the little hook of a Smith machine uh, didn't stop uh, always clinging and messing with my position so I had to use a little trick I will show it to you in another separate video but uh, I ended up doing like uh, 9 or 10 reps I think and uh, yeah I was pretty uh, satisfied with myself since I didn't be deadlifting anything uh, in like two months and a half three months so so yeah and afterward I got same in the six machines because nothing was available into Shrux because I really wanted to get back into traps and yoke building Excuse me for the car, uh, and as you will see, I was able to go pretty heavy six plate. Uh, for me, six plate after shrugging is really nothing, but 
things that I didn't do much yoke training for again three, three months was pretty nice the dumps that I had were really really hard the soreness was really high I don't think I have ever been that sore in my life in the collapse region or at least I don't remember it but uh, yeah shrug are stable if you don't uh, feel your traps when you're shrugging it's because you don't uh, shrug heavy and as you will see I am doing both behind the back and normal shrug this is some kind of mechanical drop set in a way this way I can more or less double the volume but uh, don't take much half of time and focus the traps uh, into the uh, as a, as a global muscle, not just the upper traps fiber, but also the middle and lower traps. So yeah, and after working on the Smith machine, do some reverse lunges. Why reverse lunges? Because I really wanted to uh, work my legs independently. So I have a little uh, imbalance with my hip and knee and knee joint. And also because the reverse lunges are really not that stressful in the knee joint. Uh, they are focusing a lot more on the posterior chain. And uh, I didn't have any problem with my quads development. But for my glutes and my hamstring, I prefer to focus them to counterbalance the strength and the tightness of my quadriceps, essentially, so my knees are feeling less cranky and my hips are also uh, gaining into stability. Um, I was pretty pleased with myself, one plate and a half, nothing that is really heavy, but uh, the form is uh, what I was, as, was really after and the muscle connection too since uh, you can't really do just uh, up and down uh, point A to point B when you're trying to bodybuild with flanges if you are going to be um, a world champion of flanges be my guess but when you're trying to build muscle this isn't how it's done so yeah that is the first workout I was able to do so a pretty uh, standard workout just to the size if you don't count the pull up really now for the second workout I was able to do this week I was able to do a much more variety and upper body work so I began with some shoulder press with dumbbell I lost about 20% of my strength on them I was able to do reps with the 100 and 100, uh, 105 uh, I was with uh, the 80s right now uh, since I just don't want to get, in the, get back in the groove too quickly to injure myself which is with them I did a bit of volume on them something like 4 sets 6 by 8 reps same for the inclined dumbbell press and I trained that with some chin up because I was really really strict, really uh, vertical and I really wanted to emphasize my arm. I was more uh, focused on flexing my arm rather than pulling with my elbow. Even if, uh, if chin up is going to be still refute some back. Uh, with the inclined dumbbell press I was also training that with some dumbbell row, uh, chest supported for the traps and especially the rumbo is the middle and lower traps. Uh, to continue working them but with a more different angle when you're a natural lifter you're supposed to work your muscle uh, multiple times during the week but each time changing the angle the resistance and also the focus uh, sometimes we'll be uh, focusing on stretching them sometimes flexing them and sometimes and in between mainly for light or volume work at least in my opinion that's what, and that's what worked for me and for my training so yeah afterward i was able to do some uh, shoulder work but also some arm work so just a bit of isolation I was uh, able to do some cable so I really wanted to emphasize this my rear delt in my lateral delt so I really want them to be uh, standing out in my physique so I did a lot of volume on them three sets but with a, a drop set each set uh, I was uh, I think uh, removing something like 30% of the total weight now for the arm I really wanted to stay pretty simple so I just did some uh, BTN extension or French press if you prefer, seated on some really small bench, uh, which is really uh, smart as an idea since you have all your upper back free, but uh, which is also really uncomfortable. So, yeah, uh, and I changed that with some pinwheel curls, which is basically a hammer curl, but you're doing it cross, crossing your body, which is going to put much more emphasis on the brachial end of the biceps and the brachial which is on the forearm. So yeah, just lightweight, I was just uh, trying to flex and uh, to really get the mind-muscle connection working since uh, biceps are usually a uh, quick point for me. Um, and uh, yeah, quick note on the portion of the workout. This Miss Machine was able to be used at some point of the workout, so I did three short sets of Bulgarian split squat with Smith Machine, which is for me a fantastic exercise for the glutes. 
but it's also going to recruit the quads without thrashing the knees. And uh, the, with my history of knee problem, which is a, an exercise that is really uh, helping me getting in the groove uh, of getting more volume with my legs and uh, without thrashing the recovery of my knees. It's, uh, doing endless sets of quads and axe quads. I, I've been doing it for years and uh, it eventually got me back. So yeah, uh, I will make a video about how uh, the Smith machine can be a really good asset in your training since a uh, lot of people are still demonizing it. And I was one of them a few years back, but uh, now I see the value of the Smith machine. And then back with audio only because it was just a mess to talk outside it is just too much noise and people going around so here is back for the third workout of my first week of rebuild I began with some arm so here is some reverse curl for the brachialis and brachial so this is a great way to warm up your elbow and to focus more on the forearm work than the biceps which is something that I really need to bring up in my opinion I changed up with some tricep extension, so I had no bench available, so I just did them here. Um, you notice that I'm really, really inclined, this is to mimic some kind of uh, pullover or really inclined double extension. This way you have less strain on the uh, triceps and the elbow, but the long head is really uh, activated in that kind of position. I changed that then with some dips, weighted dips of course. Uh, I did uh, thousands of dips uh, without weight during the lockdown. Now it's time to put some b weight back up and uh, I'm very very disappointed since I lost a ton of strength. You can see me uh, really struggle with just two and a half plate. And I kept them doing with some curls with fat grip. Again, a uh, very very uh, not that great. I wasn't comfortable at all and the fat grip wasn't helping but uh, yeah, low rep and uh, manageable weight. After that, I was really short on time, so I decided to do a bit of external rotator work and some shoulders, so there are some really wide BTN press or a clog of press. They are fantastic for shoulder heels, but also for shoulder hypertrophy. The lateral delta are being smoked uh, while the upper back is stabilizing really hard the weight. This is really one of my pet exercises for shoulder heels and uh, staple. With that clock of press I was doing some tricep extension on the cable, really nice and easy smooth form with a bit of rolling triceps extension to um, really activate the long head. This way you also save a bit your elbow. Normally I'm not uh, doing any superset where you are working more or less the same weight, the same muscle, but uh, here I had no choice. And I finished with some squats, so just one plate. I did a uh, high rep about 10 to 12 reps and I was alternating between back squat and front squat. I initially filmed the front squat but the angle was too ugly so we didn't see anything. So I just show you the back squat. So as you can see I'm doing full weight, the full rep, full range of motion. I'm going as low as possible to really shot everything, the lumbar, the glutes, the hips, but also the quads the, and the calves. So yeah, that's it for this uh, week. Uh, I'll see you soon for the second week of my rebuild series. Take care, bye.